use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Chapter 11, The Reality of Your Emotions, Chapter Review Your emotions are your most powerful guidance system. They act as an onboard computer that automatically guides your every thought and decision. They will primarily indicate a good situation or a bad situation and to what degree that it is good or bad. Your emotions do not interfere with your thoughts and decisions but instead only signal the appropriateness of those thoughts and decisions through a feeling system. You must not cross your own emotional guidance because they not only indicate the appropriateness of your thoughts and decisions, but they also indicate the type of experiences you will be eliciting from your world. However, once you are in accord with your emotions, you will be eliciting beneficial outcomes from your experiences. Emotions not only indicate the type of experiences that you are or will be eliciting, but they also indicate the power in which they will be elicited. This might be thought of as the emotional volume. That is to say, the more powerful your emotional state, the more powerfully your vibrations will resonate and elicit your experiences. Your meanings, powered by your emotional state, cause resonance to elicit experiences of all kinds into your world the expected and the unexpected. Many times these unexpected results are called accidents, coincidences, even chance. However, since there is no such thing as an accidental occurrence, these unexpected experiences are manifestations and outcomes that you simply don't recognize the cause of. Active vibrations are the result of the thoughts that you are now having if they are regularly thought of, they are actively eliciting experiences from your world. However, if they are long forgotten and are not supported by your beliefs, they will no longer elicit outcomes. Meanings can be activated by associations with people, places, things, or events. You can either accept these associations or redefine the meaning or get rid of the source of the association. Chapter 11 the Reality of Your Emotions, Chapter Quiz. Alrighty, let's see here. Number one, question number one. Your emotional guidance system can be best described as A. An onboard computer B. Guidance based on your reality C. The most amazing and wonderful system that assists you or D, all. It's D, all. The emotional guidance system can be described as an onboard computer. It is constantly calculating everything that you know, everything you want, everything you fear, everything you believe, all your meanings, everything in your existence, and then comparing it to the situation or the thought at hand, and instantly deciding whether it's in line with what you're about and what you want or whether it's not. If it is, you feel good about it. If it's not, you don't. I mean, is that an amazing computer or what? That is amazing. And B, guidance based on your reality? Absolutely. What's your reality? Everything you believe, everything you think, all your meanings. So whatever your meanings are, your emotional system will guide you based on your own meanings. It's not got a mind of its own. It's not doing its own guidance. It's not deciding based on something else what's right or wrong. It's deciding what's right or wrong based on what you think. That's your meanings. That's your decisions. 
That's that's all on you. That's the that's the thing about it. It doesn't having an emotional guidance system. It doesn't take away from your own decisions and your own meanings. It is based on your own decisions and your own meanings. Here it says, see, a most amazing and wonderful system that assists you? It is, absolutely. How great is it that you have this onboard computer based on your own reality, based on what you want, based on your meanings, based on your own beliefs. Based on all of that, you just put this over on your emotions, let them handle it. You just go about your business and just be looking for the feelings along the way. And it just says, yes, no. Just like that. Hey, this feels good. No, this feels bad. How great is that? You don't have to think about it. You don't have to decide. If it doesn't feel good, then do something about it. If it feels good, go with it. Because if it feels good, it is good. No matter what anybody else says, if your emotional guidance system says, this is a go for you, it's a go for you. Because you see, this is one thing that wasn't covered in the material, and I'm going to tell you now. Your emotional guidance system not only goes on by all your own meanings and everything you know, but it goes on things you don't even know. There may be some doors out there, and you have a good feeling about door number two, but you have no evidence, you have no material, you have nothing to decide on, it just seems like the right door. Guess what? If it feels good, it's the right door. Because there's something on the other side of the door that your emotional guidance system from the higher level of your energy self knows is something you want. So it's guiding you to that door. There is no facts, there is no information that you have that you could possibly decide that. But you just get a gut feeling. You say, hey, you know what? I think this is the way to go. And guess what? It is. But by the same token, if you're going to go for a door and you kind of feel, mm, I don't know, maybe I, shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't choose that one. Don't. Because your emotional guidance system not only is based on everything you know, everything you want, all your meanings, but it's based on information that you don't have conscious access to. It also is working on information that the universe provides that you don't know. So, my God, it's a great system. It is, if you learn to depend and rely on your emotions, that will be one of the most wonderful things you can do for yourself is really recognize how great they are and what they're doing for you. They're not a reflection. People think of them reflection of the moment. Oh, I'm really happy about this. Or, oh, I'm really unhappy about this. It's not a reflection. It's a guidance. It's a guidance. So if you feel bad about a situation, remembering that all situations are neutral, but if your emotions feel bad about it, that tells you you've got a bad meaning. You've got a negative meaning in place on that situation. If you turn it around and give that situation a good meaning, deliberately, using your God power, say, hold it. I think this is going to be good because of this, 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 and this. And now you feel good. Now you can move forward. Your emotions told you, indicated, gave you the heads up, said, hey, you got a bad meaning. You got a negative meaning in place on this. Change that meaning. Get that change to a positive one and we'll move forward. Eh, the emotional system, oh man, it is the most wonderful thing you've got. It's the most wonderful asset you have. Options. Now activating the next video, play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts.
Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.